Hi all, welcome to another RP tutorial video. Today in this tutorial video, we are going to learn about chat GPT integration with automation 360. So I will show you step by step details how you can integrate and use open AI chat GPT with automation 360. So before start, kindly support us by subscribing this channel. And if you feel this video is helpful and you are able to understand how we can utilize chat GPT with automation 360. So kindly click on like button. It will really help us and motivate us. So now let's understand first what is chat GPT. So chat GPT is basically AI based chat model, okay, which is pre-trained with huge amount of data okay and it can behave like a human so in case if you send a question and it will respond respond you back like a human okay so now let me show you how it looks like and how we can use so in in case if you want to use this chat gpt to ask some questions so your initial page will looks like this so this is the page where we can do the chat with OpenAI chat GPT. So let me ask one question here. Uh, I'm asking a question like what is automation 360 and let's see what answer chat GPT is giving. Okay. So you can see like it is writing like human right so basically it is giving us a response what is automation 360 so whatever question you have you can ask and it will respond you back like a human so in order to get the access to chat gpt what you have to do you have to first register with openai chat gpt so in order to register it you must have a mobile number and the valid email id so mobile number is required because the chat GPT will send you a SMS or a WhatsApp message with the OTP that you need to put it and verify it. So what you have to do, you have to just type in a Google open AI and here you have to click on sign up. So once you click up, uh, click on the sign up button here, you need to fill your email address or if you have your Gmail or Microsoft account, you can just login directly using those also okay so i have already uh, logged in and created my account okay so let's say once your account is created and you are able to log in so initially your page will looks like this so the next step what you have to do is you have to go to this personal okay so before explaining you these things so in order to use chat gpt with automation 360 we will be not able to use like this directly however it can be possible with the help of api okay which is provided by the open ai itself so in order to get or see the api you have to click here in the personal and you have to click on the view api keys so once you click there this page will looks like this so what next you have to do you have to just click here so you can see this is the section where we have api key information is there so here i have already created one api key okay so here one thing you have to remember when you create any api key make sure you are keeping a note of that api key so in order to get that you have to just click here so let's put something like youtube demo video okay and let me click here create secret key so once you click there it will open it will generate a, a key which you need to copy and keep it somewhere like in your notepad so let me open a notepad i'm keeping here so make sure you are keeping this um, in somewhere okay otherwise if you click here on done you won't be able to find it again again so let's say if you want to click here edit so you won't be able to see this key so you have to keep it somewhere so you can remain i mean you can utilize going forward another thing once you generate this key 
please don't share with anyone otherwise your um this chat gpt api can be used by other person also right so once you have done with this uh, uh, api key creation so next is we will see how we can utilize this key with automation 360 before moving on so let's say this is currently i'm using a trial okay which i have received from open ai so in case if you want to see the what are the usage limit by default they have assigned so you have to click here in the usage tab and you can see here so by default now they are giving this five dollar of uh, uh, usage balance okay that we can use and here you can see the expiry date is available so whatever action you will perform by using this api key it will be chargeable and the usage you can see it in this section okay now let's move on so we got the api key now next thing is we need to see how we can use this with automation 360 so in order to do that we have to click here in the reference api reference and here we have some informations available like you know the introduction authentication mode making requests models so there are so many informations available i recommend you to kindly go through it and understand this chat gpt with more informations okay so in order to uh, send some questions or like you know interact with chat gpt you have to click here in the compilation okay so once you click so in this tutorial what we are going to do we are going to send a question the way i have shown you here like i have just sent a question what is automation 360 so similarly we will perform the same thing using automation 360 so in order to do that we have to use a post method okay so here we have to use this uri and we need to use other things like we need to pass the query and other things that we will get it from here itself right so i will show you those details also so in this page we have so many informations available so if you read it you will have some idea like how we can um, use post method to get the information and what else we can do using this open ai chat gpt so here you can see the example of request they have given this um, default code we, by using that we can perform some actions so this is the model by default they have selected this devan c003 and here you can see the method which they have given is curl okay so in case if you want to call this or integrate integrate this api or uh, open ai api with let's say the ui path automation any or any of the other tools apart from this python and node.js we have to use this curl and we have to take help from this code so now let's understand from the automation 360 let's copy this piece of code keep it somewhere in notepad now let's go to automation 360 so here we will use rest api or rest web services command to send the request to chat gpt so i'm going to use this post method because we are going to send something in order to send a request we have to use this post method so now we will utilize information from this code let's copy this and keep it here in uri so once this is done now another thing is here in order to connect this automation anywhere with chat gpt we do not require any authentication so we'll go with the no authentication and we have to pass this api key so that we can do it from here so you have to click here in the add header and you have to pass this authorizations here in the place of name and you have to copy this bearer and keep it here with insecure string it's always recommended to keep your sensitive informations like api key or you know the password in credential vault so don't keep this key somewhere else from there somebody else can uh, see or somebody can misuse this also right so i have kept this here and let me click on the add now the next thing is we need to pass the parameter okay so in order to pass the parameter we have this query is available so let's copy this and we have to put it here so now you can see this prompt 
by default it is saying this is a test right so we will remove this and we'll replace with the variable so i'm going to create a variable and let's put this as ask gpt and we'll select this variable type as input so when we run it will prompt for a user input so let's replace this with variable so now here if you see this max underscore token is given as seven so what is max token so basically it is a parameter okay, where you can set up your text limit for example if you're setting your max token value as 50 then your model when you send this request so this model will return a response which contain 50 character or something like that so it's like you know you can play with this maybe you can keep it 10 20 and see how many character it is returning so for our case i'm just going to keep a 50 so based on this token value your uh, charges is going to happen so currently i'm using this uh, trial version so for that also they have assigned five dollar right so if you keep 100 500 whatever you want to keep so it will deduct from your available limit itself okay so now this we have implemented come to the next section where we need to get the response so basically response will come either in multiple variable or dictionary so let's go ahead and use the dictionary so i'm putting a variable name as response from gpt and let's create this let's run this and test it after that i'll show you how we can do the next step so i'm just putting a message box and let's select the dictionary variable response gpt and the dictionary key will be body so we'll keep this and now let's save this and run this to see okay so you can see here it is asking ask gpt so we need to pass the input value so we can instead of using this we can use a prompt also but either way here also it is asking us to pass the value so let's keep something like uh, who is the founder of company called microsoft so whenever you send a questions make sure you are sending properly otherwise it may return incorrect data also okay so this is the question which i am sending to the chat gpt and let's see what response it is giving all right so we got the response and you can see let me copy this and keep somewhere else in the notepad so i can show you okay so we can see here the response which we received from chat gpt is it's saying the founder of microsoft is bill gates right so the answer is correct only now so this response which we received is in the form of json okay so now we need to read this data okay so let's see how we can read it and we can get this uh, exact data which we are expecting so let's go ahead and start using json so first we need to use this start session and in the start session what i will do i will select that dictionary variable which is holding the response from chat gpt let's close this sex session here itself and now we will use get node value okay so here you have to just pass the path so here the path will be um it comes under these choices and text so let's pass that also choices put position index as zero and text and here i want to assign this value to let's say this sample string okay so this sample string will hold the final out so i'm just going to use a message box 
and I will keep it here. Um, let's select this sample string. Okay, so now once we run this, so this will send the question and it will first show you the body and after that it will show you the final output which we are expecting. So let me rerun this and see this. So I'll go with the same question. Let's click on the confirm. Okay, so this is the uh, JSON response which we received. Let's click on close. And now you can see here the output final output is saying the founder of Microsoft is Bill Gates. So by this way, we can send a, a, a prompt or I can say the question to chat GPT and we can get the response like this. So this is very small example. So here I have just demonstrated how we can integrate chat GPT with automation anywhere. I'll upload more videos and you can see there with some real time examples. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video is helpful and I'm able to make you understand how to integrate chat GPT with automation 360. Thank you so much.